When you're trying to solve systems to graph quickly, you usually want to transform your linear equations into slope-intercept form, and it usually saves time in the end. So doing so also makes it easy to check your work. So let's look at some examples where this happens. Here's one. Solve the following system of equations by graphing. We have 2x plus y equals 5 and negative x plus y equals 2. The first step is to rewrite these both in slope-intercept form. They both don't have the y by themselves, so in the first equation, we are going to subtract 2x from both sides, making our slope-intercept form y equals negative 2x plus 5. In the second equation, we're going to add x to both sides, making our slope-intercept form y equals x plus 2. Now, from there, we can plot the y-intercept and the slope and use the slope to plot a second point. So the first equation, y equals negative 2x plus 5, our y-intercept is 0, 5 since our constant is 5. Our slope is negative 2 over 1, which tells us to go down 2 and right 1. So that's this green line here, a y-intercept of 5 and going down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. The next equation, y equals x plus 2, our y-intercept is 0, 2, because our constant is 2. A slope of 1, technically the coefficient here, so 1 over 1, which is up 1, right 1. That's the orange line. A y-intercept of 2 going up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Step number 3 is to locate the point of intersection and check the work. So the point of intersection is this point here, which is 1, 3. So using the fact that x would be 1 and y would be 3, we can substitute that into both equations. And you can see here it makes it true for the green equation on, since it's on the green line and true for the orange equation since it's on the orange line. Let's look at another example. Now let's solve this system of equations 2x plus y equals 3 and x minus 2y equals 4. Again, both are not in slope-intercept form, so let's transform the first into slope-intercept form by subtracting 2x from both sides, making it y equals negative 2x plus 3. And the second, let's subtract, neg uh, let's subtract x from both sides. And we also have to divide everything by negative 2 each term, creating our equation y equals 1 half x minus 2. Now that both are in slope-intercept form, we can move to step number two, where we use that form to find the y-intercept and the slope to graph. So the green equation, the green line, we have a y-intercept of 0, 3, and a slope of negative 2. Over 1, that's why we're going down 2 and right 1. That's here. We go up 1, 2, 3, and we go down 2, right 1, and down 2, right 1, down 2, right one. Then we have in the orange equation, we have negative 2 as a y-intercept and a slope of 1 half. And then we can go there or with our y-intercept of negative 2, slope, so up 1 and right 2, up 1 and right 2. That brings us then to step number 3. Now that we have the two lines, we can see that the point of intersection is this point here, which is 2, negative 1. And to check our work, we know that x value is 2 and y value is negative 1. So if we make that substitution, we can see that it makes the green equation true since it's a point on the green line. And it makes the orange equation true since it's a point on the orange line. Therefore, that is the solution to the system. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we have solved the system of equations. Again, the first step is to rewrite in slope-intercept form. The first equation already is, so we don't have to do any work. y equals 3x plus 6, the y is by itself, we're good. The second equation, however, is not. So first we have to subtract 9x, making it negative 3y equals negative 9x minus 18. Then we have to divide everything by negative 3, making it y equals 3x plus 6. Already we can see something about these two equations, but we should still try and graph it. So we'll use the y-intercept of 6 and the slope of 3 over 1 in the first equation to start at 6 and go up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1. Then in the second equation, we have, oh, we have a y-intercept of 6 
and again a slope of 3 over 1, so go up 3, right 1. We've graphed the same line. Now here, if we tried to find and locate the point of intersection to check our work, well here, there, the two lines are overlapping. They're intersecting everywhere. They're an infinite, there's an infinite number of points that they're intersecting. So there is an infinite number of solutions. So here is another example. Now we have solved this system of equations. We again want to rewrite in slope intercept form. So we'll take the first one, 4x minus 2y equals 10. We'll subtract 4x from both sides and divide everything by negative 2 to get the y by itself for y equals 2x minus 5. In the second equation, we will subtract 8x and then we'll divide everything by negative 4 to give us y equals 2x minus 3. You should start to see something about these equations, especially for step number 2 when we identify the slope and the y-intercept. So in the first equation, the orange here, we have a y-intercept of 0, negative 5, and we're going with a slope of 2 over 1 for up to right 1. That creates the orange line. And then the black line, we have a y-intercept of 0, negative 3, and a slope of 2 over 1, the same slope to go up to right 1, creating this graph here. Now step number three, we are trying to locate the point of intersection, but our graph, we can't find any. These are two parallel lines, so therefore there is no solution. So graphing, you can see easily from slope intercept form how to graph and then find those point of intersections or see that there's infinitely many or that there's none at all.